There is some really interesting new science of isometric training. Athletes can hold a maximum isometric contraction for about 10 seconds before force drops. This used to be a popular training protocol with athletes in the 1960s and 1970s. Bruce Lee, for example, trained one set of 10 second maximal isometrics in eight different positions. But more recently, there's been a lot of research done on fatigue mechanisms like excitation, contraction, coupling failure, metabolite accumulation, and reduction in central neural drive that suggest a slightly different approach may be even more effective. You see, training a 10 second maximal isometric for 10 seconds is training to failure. Another way to say that would be that you're training 100% of your repetition duration reserve. But if we only train a maximal overcoming isometric for three seconds, that's just 30% of your repetition duration reserve. Many experts now recommend utilizing about 30 to 50% of your repetition duration reserve, or about a three to five second maximal isometric contraction to allow for multiple sets of high quality reps. Doing, for example, three to six quality sets of three to six repetitions allows you to accumulate around 30 to 60 seconds of maximal isometric work without going all the way to failure. A specific example of this that you can implement would be doing a mid thigh pull for three sets of four reps for four second maximum isometric contraction. A rest period of about five to 20 seconds can be used between repetitions and about one to two minutes of rest between sets. Follow for more training tips.